hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well if you're new to my channel you're welcome to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video today i'll be making a maxi kimono dress i'll be using two and a half meters by 60 for it to know how many fabric you put on fold you will measure from your center back to where you want your sleeve to stop or half of your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve length her shoulder measurement is 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 half of her shoulder measurement is 8 inches 8 inches from this 8 inches i will measure the sleeve length the sleeve length is 8 inches plus half inch seam allowance 8 and half 8 plus 8 and half is 16 and half inches the front is folded into two and the back is folded into two also. This is starting line. From starting line to this line is 17 inches half length. From starting line to this line is 24 inches hip line. The length of the dress is 60 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance, 61 inches. From starting line to the end of the dress is 61 inches. I'm going to mark her neck width. I will use neck width of 4 inches and neck depth of 4 inches. You can use any neckline of your choice. You can use both neckline. Neck depth of 4 inches. The front neckline and the back neckline are the same. I will mark 2 inches for shoulder slant. From this starting line, I will come down by 2 inches. I will connect it to the neck width. I will mark her round sleeve measurements. Her round sleeve measurement is 15. 15 divided by 2 is 7 and half. 7 and half plus half inch to join it at the shoulder, 8 inches. I will add half inch for ease. I will use 8 and half. Eight and half. Eight and half plus one inch seam allowance, nine and half. So this is nine and half. So this is her chest line. I'll add her bust measurement on this line. From this side, I'll come in by one inch. From this one inch, I'll slant it to this shoulder slant on the edge here. One inch. On this line, I'll add her bust measurement. Her bust measurement is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half plus 1 inch for ease. You can use more than 1 inch for ease. Plus 1 inch seam allowance, 13 and a half. This is 13 and a half. Her waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10 plus 1 inch for ease and 1 inch seam allowance. 12 inches. Plus 1 inch 
Her hip measurement is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. Plus 1 inch for ease and 1 inch seam allowance. 13 and a half. Sorry guys, the marking might not be visible enough because of the type of fabric. It's not easy to work with this fabric. This is the hip line. This is the length of the dress and one inch seam allowance to hem it. If you like, you can use two inches or more for ease, depending on how loose you want it. But if you use two inches or more for ease, the measurement you have on your hip line you will use it at the lower part. You can walk freely. But I used one inch for ease. If I want, I will use this measurement that I have here at the lower part, but I have slit by the side. Or I will make it a line. This is the hip line. I have 13 and a half inches. I will mark 13 and a half inches. Here. I'll shake what I have. I have extra three inches. This is 13 and a half inches. The same measurement that I have at the hip line plus extra three inches. It's kind of A line, but not full A line. But if you want to make it A line, you have up to five inches. You will add up to five inches or more. So I'll connect it from this hip line to the edge of the fabric. So here I'll cover it. This part to cover it, you can cover it this way, or you will mark one inch on this side and cover it this way. So I'll cut the neckline, the front and the back neckline are the same. I want to cut out the facing. I'll fold fabric. And put it under. three inches two and a half to three inches three inches this is the first scene I'll cut one more of this. This 
this is for the front and this is for the back I have two of these. I'll stitch it on the neckline. This is the right side of the fabric. This is the right side, right side together. I will stitch it. After that, I will notch and top stitch on the facing side. I will do the same on this. I've stitched first into the neckline. I have lightweight interfacing on it. I also overlock the edge. If you don't have overlocker, just hem the edge. I did the same on this. What I'll do next is to stitch the back and the front together. I'll put it this way, right side together. I will stitch it using half inch seam allowance. I will do the same on this side. I've stitched the front and the back together, the shoulder line. I will open it this way. This is the sleeve. I will stitch this on the sleeve. I will open it. I have four inches. This is the right side. I have two inches. I will use half inch to stitch it to the sleeve. This is the wrong side of the dress. I'll put it this way. I will stitch it using half inch seam allowance. I'll stitch it to the sleeve. I top stitch on this side. I did the same on this side. What I'll do next is to stitch the two sides. After that, I'll overlock the dress and hem the lower part. I'll put this this way to the right side. I'll measure one inch. I'll stitch the dress using one inch seam allowance. I'll do the same on this side. If you want, you can tidy up the neckline with bias. So this is the dress. I'll use matching thread to hold it here at the shoulder line. I'll do the same on this side. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.